Right, welcome back. Um, I fitted the uh, radiator on now, and I painted the little X shape on the radiator in the gun metal, and I've just glued that in, and that's the interior done. I've now started work on the outer body shell. Now I've only got to put a couple of parts on. There's not really that many parts. The first thing I want to address, I've gone on to step 15, is this photo etch thing here for the uh, bonnet pins and the rear door pins. Now it's telling me to use the photo etch MA9 and fold it up slightly and then put MA10 ring inside there. But I don't like the way those are folded up. It makes the bonnet pins look crap in my opinion. So getting the photo etch, that's the photo etch there. MA9 and they're very very tiny indeed they're not much bigger than a nib of my pencil and to be honest I'm not very good with photo etch folding so I'm think I was thinking well how am I going to accomplish this with the bonnet pins so I'm just going to pause this a sec turning the page over this is the sprue guide now on the S S S sprue where the the um, racing seats were located you've got bonnet pins there s2 but it says they're not to be used but i thought well i don't fancy messing around with that little bit of photo etch so putting that guide down here's the s2 sprue and there's my bonnet pins fully detailed and they're to, not to be used well i'm going to use these so if you don't fancy fannying around with that photo etch use your s2 bonnet pins there very easy to put on and the detail is really nice so there's my bonnet pins and I've glued those there's a little hole there and a little hole there and you just run the glue little tiny bit and just mount those very very easy indeed so I'm just going to pause this a sec again right going to the plans step six is pretty much all about the masking of the windows I haven't done that yet and it's telling me to put the clear parts on for the um, headlamps and the rear lamps so I'm going to leave that for now right so I'm going on to step 7 which is basically front bumper parts and uh, rear wing mirrors so that's what I've done so going back to the body shell so you've got the uh, front mirrors here on the actual cast into the actual body shell is like a C shape a square C shape and there's a mounting tab on the back of the uh, rear view mirrors the wing mirrors and you just line the tab up with a v c shape very easy to glue in so that's one there i've decided to put the other one on because on the plans it says the other one which is uh what was it uh b3 it tells you to not to use it because colin mccray didn't have a passenger sign wig mirror but i've decided to put it on so that's easy to put on now you've got the um the front um the front bumper which is v1 now there's like a locking tab here and a locking tab here on the actual um front the actual body shell and on the front bumper there's, there's a locking tab there so that was locking to each other very easy to put in and just ran the glue round let it a couple of hours to dry turned it over and then reinforced it here you've got uh what was it uh v3 4 and v3 which are these side pieces here i did the same with that just ran the glue on the inside push those in left them a couple of hours to dry and then just reinforce them on the inside there and on the inside here and that's pretty that that's all the work i've needed to do to complete the main body shell and it's not looking too bad to be honest so that's where i'm sitting at the moment right getting ready for primer and paint um i've got the body shell i've masked off all the inside because i don't want any primer getting on those window frames on the inside and uh, hopefully when i spray this there won't be that much primer getting in around the fender wells with any look so that's all that masked off um with the front windscreen stroke side windows and the rear screen i've used the kit masks for those but be wary with these two side windows 
that on the top there that was too long that was too long on the side and it was too long on the bottom so i've had to trim them down because you can see how big they are on there compared to how small they are now so you will have to trim those slightly um now these windows here i haven't masked those off yet because the windows have got to be glued in from the outside as per the plans it says there outside and I'm not sure if I mask, if I put the masks on and paint the windows on the inside with the black, I don't know if the glue and glaze is going to make the paint run. But going over to me, me uh, aftermarket decal sheet, I've got decals for those windows. So I don't know whether to use those, glue the windows into the side once all this is painted, and then put the decals on. I think that's probably going to be the better option, to be honest. So with that being said, that's now ready for primer. And these are now ready to be painted. Well, welcome back. I've now primed the main body shell. And it ain't looking too bad. And then the bonnet pins are looking really nice as well. Um, a little bit's got underneath, like through the fender wells underneath there but i really bothered about that because it was mainly the window frame areas i wanted to protect so when i spray that in the white that will cover up all of the uh, primer that has actually got in i've also turned the camera around slightly i've also painted my windows with their masks they're not looking too bad and i can't really tell if there's any bleed but i won't find out that out until i actually take the tape off but that's now ready for primer and these are now ready to have the masks removed right welcome back um if you remember from the previous update i'd uh, primed the body shell in the gray primer i've now um repainted it in the white so i sprayed my white primer on top of the gray primer once that was dry i bought some new paint uh, Halfords Appliance Gloss White. I've heard a lot of reviews about this on uh, the various modelling forums that I go on, and I thought I'd give it a try. And then it says on there, for best results, use white primer. So I sprayed that on top of the white primer, let it dry, and I didn't really need to do a touch-up coat, which is great. And uh, this has actually dried a quite a nice sheen. You can just about make the sheen there. It ain't fully 100% gloss, I think it's more satin, but it's giving it a lovely sheen, as you can see by the reflection of the light. So I left that to dry, and then you can see the remnants of my 1mm masking tape. I've uh, gone round all the windows with the masking tape. There's a little bit of paint bleed here and there, and then there's a little bit I've got to touch up. I obviously didn't go up far enough on that section there, so I'm gonna to have to touch that up with my fine detailing brush. There, I've got a touch of paint bleed, but nothing too major. Uh, this bit here round by the front of the bonnet, that's gone down absolutely perfect. There's hardly any bleed at all. And then turning this round, I've done the same for that side. A little bit of bleed there by the wing mirror, but nothing too major. So that black's gone down really, really nice. So I painted it with a matte black, which was the Humbrol 33 in my Revel tub. It's one of those snap lids, and I hate them snap lids. And then you, I painted on top of that once it dried in the gloss black 21. Right, so that's the body shell done. So moving that out of the way. I've also done my clear parts. If you remember, I masked them, sealed them with the uh, Page Future. The masks weren't as good as the Tamiya ones. As I said, there's a touch of paint bleed here and there. But again, nothing too major. There's a scuff mark there. I don't know if, it, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. So I'm going to have to get the Pledge Future and clean that off. But generally it's not too bad. Like I said, the masks weren't as good as the Tamiya ones. On the rear screen, 
again i don't know if it's picking it up there there's like a little scuff mark from the uh the actual mask itself so I'm, again i'll have to get to pledge future and buff those up but uh once i've touched these up those will be ready to go into the underneath of there and that's where i'm sitting at the moment Right, welcome back. I've done some more work on the body shell. Firstly, I've uh, glued in the front windscreen stroke uh, side window assembly. I just ran the glue and glaze all the way around. And then uh, got some clothes pegs. I put one through this fender well, one through that fender well. And then the clothes pegs, um, I put one here. I managed to shove it through that hole and it clamped it there. Same for that side. And that glue has dried it a treat. Now there's one thing that's puzzling me. You see that where it says, where, where it's got to be masked off in that corner there. I reckon that should have been brought out a bit more. So it's there. But to be honest, I'm not going to do anything with that now. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. The back window... Um, I couldn't clamp that at all, but there's a tiny, tiny, tiny lip um, mounted into the body shell. It's very, very tiny indeed, and uh, it's just like a line. And you push it in from the outer woods, and that goes underneath there, this part here. It rests on the roof of the uh, shell. And I just ran the glue and glaze, let it go tacky for about 10 minutes, and then just uh, pushed it into position finally, just put its final resting position and just let gravity do its work and that is dried really nice really nice and stiff so i'm well chuffed with that you've got the rear view mirror here that one's a r12 i believe um it's got a little ball joint into that little ball hole there so i've just painted that in the black and then silver for the mirror but you don't install that until you've installed this window because the window there's a cut piece out here that actually goes round that uh, mounting notch for the ball joint of the rear view mirror. So once you've done all that, then in install that. And last but not least, you've got the mesh, which is MA12. So I just painted that both sides in the matte black, give it a second coat. And then just ran the glue round the edges of the inside of the vent. With my cocktail stick and su cocktail stick and super glue, and then I've just got my clothes pegs, and just put one there like that, and then put one there like that. Left it about what five minutes to dry, and that's glued in lovely. So with that being said, the body shell is now ready to be mounted onto the interior chassis, as it says in step nine.